Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing about types of gelatin. So what is gelatin? Gelatin as such it does not occur naturally. It is a heterogeneous product derived by irreversible hydrolytic extraction of treated animal collagen. So collagen is the source of gelatin and the physical and chemical properties of the derived gelatin they depend on various factors such as the source of parent collagen the method of extraction ph value thermal degradation and the electrolyte content and commercially bone and skin gelatins are available and the major source of collagen is either animal bones hide portions or frozen pork skin coming to the types of gelatin Gelatin is broadly categorized into two types type A and type B When it comes to type A as the name indicates type A gelatin is derived from acid treated precursor When it comes to type B the type B gelatin is derived from alkali treated precursor One more difference is their isoelectric point So what is isoelectric point Isoelectric point is nothing but a pH at which a particular molecule does not carry any net charge So the isoelectric point of type A gelatin is at pH 9 whereas the isoelectric point of type B gelatin is at pH 4.7 Now generally the capsules are made from either type of the gelatin and usually they are mixed together which is governed by their availability and the cost of production One more important point is in the manufacturing of hard gelatin capsules blends of bone and pork skin gelatin are used This pork skin gelatin which relatively which have relatively high gel strengths are normally used in the production of hard capsules so whenever we use bone gelatin it produces a tough and firm film for the capsule shell but it tends to be hazy and brittle so whenever we use bone gelatin a tough and firm film is used uh, is produced but it tends to be hazy and brittle when it comes to pork skin gelatin it contributes great amount of plasticity and clarity to the shell thereby it reduces the haze or cloudiness for that reason blends of both bone gelatin and pork skin gelatin are used in the production of hard capsules because they produce a tough and firm film which has good plasticity and clarity coming to the recent developments in the production in the manufacturing of gelatin there are two recent developments the first one is green or fresh bones are used as a source of type b gelatin green or fresh bones are used as a source of type b gelatin and because fresh bones are used a pre treatment is usually required when we use green bones to remove the residual tissue and fat The second recent development is acid bone gelatin. Acid bone gelatin it as the name indicates acid bone it is prepared from bone by techniques similar to those of type A gelatin. The only difference between type A gelatin and acid bone gelatin is in their isoelectric point. If you remember the isoelectric point of type A gelatin is at pH 9. when it comes to acid bone gelatin the isoelectric point is at ph 5.5 to 6 one more additional feature is the acid bone gelatin whenever acid bone gelatin is used it decreases the extraction time coming to the overall manufacturing procedure of gelatin as we have discussed both bone and skin gelatins are available so whenever dry bone or bone meal is used it is first subjected to acid treatment that is 5% of hcl for 10 to 15 days then it is subjected with base base is nothing but 10% of lime that is dicalcium phosphate so after acid treatment 
Then the next step is base treatment. It is treated with 10% lime for 4 to 8 weeks. Then it is subjected for lime removal and then pH adjustment and then for hot water extraction. So when we use calf skin, calf skin it is subjected to alkali alkalization that is nothing but it is treated with 10% lime for 6 to 12 weeks. Here 6 to 12 weeks, here 4 to 8 weeks and additionally first it is treated with acid whenever dry bone is used. When calf skin is used it is directly treated with lime and then it is subjected for water wash for 10 to 30 hours and then it is sent for hot water extraction. Similarly when pork skin is used initially it is treated with acid treatment that is it is treated with 10 to 15 10 to 5 percent of HCl 1 to 5 percent of HCl for 10 to 30 hours and then it is subjected for acid removal and then sent for hot water extraction. After hot water extraction it is allowed for filtration and then subjected to vacuum in order to concentrate then it is allowed to solidify then it is air dried and milled to the desired size. So coming to the conclusion here we have discussed about types of gelatin we have mainly discussed about three types type A, type B and acid bone gelatin. As we have discussed they all differ in their isoelectric point. The isoelectric point of type A gelatin is at pH 9 whereas the isoelectric point of type B gelatin is at pH 4.7 and the isoelectric point of acid bone gelatin is at pH 5.5 to 6. One more variation is as the name indicates type A. Type A is derived from acid treated precursor whereas type B, B for base, type B is derived from base treated precursor and one of the recent advancements are green or fresh bones are used in the production of type B gelatin. Whereas acid bone gelatin is also a recent development. It is prepared from bone similar to the techniques of type A. Hence it also is it is also derived from acid treated precursor but it shows altered isoelectric point at pH 5.5 to 6. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on GPAT.